so the sump plug is up there, 15 millimeter. Take note that you'll never know where it's going to squirt. Yeah. Do you have a rag? Uh, I do. Hang on one second. Oh, in case you don't want to get it all over your hands. So, there we go, that's somewhat better. Now if we just get the camera to focus properly, we'll be happy. Put your light that. into the oil and see the cleansiness of your oil. Oh, we'll have a look at it afterwards. Um, but yeah, so that's where your sump plug is. It's not that one there. Do not undo that one. But yeah, there's the gearbox right there. Don't you can see that it. oil, otherwise you will fuck. You that, will well. that fluid, yeah. No, that, that, yeah. And you know, having to pull them apart and do the seals and all sorts of shit. And, no. No. Ford reckons you never have to open them, even though we know that's not right. There's your sump up there. Alright. So, you can see the oil filter there. If you hop underneath the car, there's a radiator and the thermo fan. It's right there. It's uh, not hard to find. Normally you would use a tool to remove it. I realise that there's a lot of shadows right now, but unfortunately, our one doesn't fit. So we're going to have to try brute force. Do you have a drill? A what? A drill. Yeah. Really? Yeah. A little tiny one? I don't think. Here is the previous filter. Make sure you have a proper tool, otherwise you'll end up... That's actually not in focus. Let's try to turn autofocus on and hope it actually works. That's good. There we go. <laughs> a million holes all the way through it. Alright. Which one do you reckon? Up to you because they are both the same and they will both last the same amount of time. Yep. You put this one on, you put that one next to it. Yeah. The same thing. Yeah. Let's just throw it on. Alright. Come on, camera. Focus on the subject, not on whatever the hell you're focused on. There we go. Right, yep. We'll start under there and we'll put some oil on that seal and we'll chuck it on. Yep. So, nice cold oil. Rub the oil on the seal. So as you can see there, along, oh, as you can kind of see. Oh, you can see what I'm doing. The lighting, yeah. Yep, you rub it on the seal there before throwing it back in. Um, do you want to swing that light over a bit and we'll be able to see up in there. There you go. Look at that. Plus I'll be able to see too. If I have Oh. If you want, I can jump under and I can put it in. Yeah, put there. We'll chuck your sump plug back on. Don't need it dripping anymore. Can't see it, but it's all good. And you never tighten these up too much. Because you will fuck it. But tight enough, like, because they do come loose. Huh? There we go, okay. Oh yeah, that's right. Newlon. This video, sponsored by Newlon. No, <laughs> Newlon, give us, give us money for making, making videos with your oil. We bought your product. Please, give us money. Yeah, all right. Uh, what is it in the six cylinder again? Five? It's six and a bit. Six and a bit? Yeah. 6.7 or something, isn't it? 6.6. .6. Depends, it's 6.3, I'm pretty sure. Look at that, a little spotlight. Is that actually stick no, magnetically? It's pretty... Oh, look at that. We almost look professional. All right, it's a whole new day uh, here. And basically last night we found that there was a serious problem with the oil. Um, it was leaking everywhere. The entire garage floor got covered in oil. I'll, uh, I'll show you guys that in a second. But, um, yeah, so we weren't able to finish the oil, given that it was getting dumped all over the floor. The problem was that the uh, oil filter was uh, not on tight enough. 
Normally you get an oil filter and you tighten it on, tighten it on by hand and that's enough. The oil pressure will help. Uh, it helps tighten it, holds it on and everything's good to go. The problem is due to a certain workshop here in Townsville many many years ago before I used to do work on my car myself uh, my oil filter was on way too tight uh, was put on way too tight by them they have fucked the entire thing so now whenever I put an oil filter on it has to be done up really tight way tighter than it should have to be done up uh, because they they screwed up yeah, screwed up really hard, and so we hadn't. We, I'd forgotten about that, and we tightened it up, and it blew oil everywhere. So come today, I had to go and get a, a new tool for uh, taking the oil filter on and off. Get that, get a new filter, uh, one that wasn't covered in oil and greasy as hell. Throw that on, and spend the last half an hour slowly tightening that up by hand to get it up tight enough so that the oil pressure wouldn't cause the filter to pop off and spew oil everywhere. Okay, so we're gonna continue putting oil into the car until we put about five liters in. The car takes uh, somewhere between five and six. It will depend on your, uh, for the six cylinder, it will depend on your specific car. You know, different oil filters could actually take a little bit more, a little bit less. So I will, get ourselves some oil. Oh, this video now sponsored by Penrite because uh, we didn't, <clears throat> we, we lost all of the other oil. <sighs> Penrite, send me free stuff.